and we continue our team coverage with a look at the bigger picture of all the violence and senseless shootings on the South Florida streets. CBS4 anchor Elliot Rodriguez joins us now in the studio. Elliot? Ruta Bay, local leaders are addressing the issue of violence against children on several levels. They include improving relations between police and the community, boosting rewards offered in the shootings, passing a new law that would protect confidential informants, and increasing public awareness. Once again, Miami-Dade School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho found himself paying respects at a memorial for a child killed by gun violence. Carvalho consoled teachers and classmates of little King Carter and wondered when the violence will stop. It seems that it's a crime to be a child in Miami because far too many are paying the ultimate price. Miami-Dade police believe someone knows who killed the boy but isn't coming forward. That's why local pastors presented Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers with a $1,000 check to boost the reward in the case. Because somebody needs to be brought to justice. It, 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 it's, it's just saddened and it's, it's sickening to my soul that a, that a, that a six-year-old cannot even be outside to play anymore without have to suffer gun violence. Once a month, Miami Gardens police, along with social service workers, go door to door getting to know residents and forming bonds that could lead to public cooperation. We end up getting a phone call later with the information that any other way we probably wouldn't have gotten if it wasn't for that contact. So they've helped us solve numerous crimes. And there's work being done in Tallahassee by people like Tangela Sears, who lost her son to gun violence and is promoting a bill that would keep the names of confidential informants a secret. The only way witnesses are going to talk is if they're protected. Money is also needed, says Miami-Dade Commission Chairman John Monestine. We need money for after-school programs. We need money uh, 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 for additional programs in our, at our parks. Monestine goes on to say the community is outraged about these shootings and must continue to be outraged until they stop. Elliot Rodriguez, CBS4 News Tonight.